set, my friend. Not doing it for me, Arteezy. Yeah, bur burning... What's this weird, like, mohawk? Burning's got, got the coolest anti-mate set. I'm, I like that. Yeah, you were also flaming the Golden Bashers, though, so I have to question your taste. But they're supposed they're... to be gaudy. They're supposed to be over the top. They make people stop and look. It's like you're blaming out your anti-mage, man. You're not a fan. I, I, it's not like, like if I had them, I'd probably just use them because, like, like you say, they're kind of gaudy. But from a pure aesthetics point of view, I, I, I don't know. You're not feeling it. Not feeling it. All right. I, with that said, the Casper Nick set, I think, is the most badass thing ever. So let's go, <laughs> MVP. They could maybe look for a first blood here. Oh, Zai a bit too far away. Didn't have the. the Did place yet. the ward though. Yeah. You may fake them out. They may assume there's one planted down. And there are everybody painting mid, apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's the communication? Someone's like, go block the mid lane for me, or whatever it may be. You go here. No, you go there. Uh, okay, I'm going here. We all move together. Let's five man the rune. Sounds good. Yeah. By the way, it is S4 gyrocopter, so it looks like we will see a mid gyrocopter. We'll have to see if this is going to be like some. Homie missile max. There we go. Um, I think at least one point will be coming out, whether it's going to be Max. I, I think Max homing missiles, very, I mean, the battle it's, begins. it's fun. It's not very good, Jen. It's, it's so, so annoying to deal with in lane um, for any hero, and it gives you growing potential, but it's just like it's on instant initiation. It's very kind of, you can see it coming, and then you just keep being heroes, and you can respond to it, so. It is going to be the mid jug. This, I mean, this is something I love to do in pubs, but I, I got to tell you, he's not a very strong yeah. mid generally. You see the homing missile, you see the rocket bridge, you blink. You're you're he, good. He's not going to die, most likely, but he's going to have trouble getting his farm QO, Will. Yeah. If you get in too close to these creeps, S4 will start to give you the rocket barrage. He's got the four-man shield, so as soon as he sees S4 flacking, he's like, oh, I'm just going to run up and start right clicking you. Bear in mind, Blade Fury has a really long cooldown at the early level. It's 42 seconds, and it's mana intensive as well. And not rushing the bottle here. So Kyo is going to have to play defense, farm under the tower. Be defensive about this. Nuts is going for the mid pull, it looks like. That, that PPD was ah, suggesting the EG game. That's what MVP are up to, we were. We were wondering. Gonna get our answers. Does he get it right here? Yeah, I'm not sure if he's missed it once already or if this is going to be his first attempt. You want to shard the mid when you get close enough, right when that. Ah, there's the shards, and. No, I don't think he got it. There's it. a little, yeah, slightly missed time. Uh oh. That, if your whole game plan hinges on that, uh oh. And that's not working. What's the plan B? He doesn't have snowball. It's only level one. He may just have to go leech top with Mark. Yeah, it feels very much like ooh, they, something they kind of learned overnight and maybe haven't fine tuned yet because. Maybe did it once or twice in a practice lobby, but. Yeah. It's the pressure of a real game, that's a bit different. You bring Narsen at a good time here, trying to go and curl. Oh, the ice shard trapping him in along with the tree line, where March and Curl are fighting it out right now, but they can't really keep up with him quite. Another ice shard's in 10. They may engage with a double ion shell. Who do they chase on here? Nuts dropping low here. The lead is done. No, MVP gonna give up the first blood, and March may well be the secondary kill. As Arteezy toys with him, he doesn't have a blink, though. He's just a bit too fast with the south. Gets that great. And more stuns are coming out. Now March is gonna give up the secondary kill. Surge, not enough. Two freebies. As in the mid lane, QO is going to turn on S4. But as you can see, Blade Fury knocked down for a long time. And already Rocket Barrage is back up. It's cute, but it's not really a full counter. Secret just never panic, like in those moments where a lot of teams in that kind of 2v3 scenario, they've got an Iron Shell, Tusk, and Daxia running at them, would not coordinate their just. They'd stun sack the Frostbite with the LSAs. The anti mage would be like, oh, I don't want to go in back in. I'm too low HP. It's too risky to blink in, blink in aggressively on an Iron Shell hero. Just no panic whatsoever. They use their spells, maximize their efficiency, and yeah, they punish the aggression for MVP. Nice play. And they get double boots on the supports now as well. I think they saw, yeah, they see the Tusky from the high ground. This is going to be really bad for Nuts. He can get cut off as well by the gyrocopter. He does have a snowball at the very least to try and dodge some damage and he's just gonna roll to the creep wave. Well, gank's over folks and I guess he may try the mid pull again. Let's see what Nuts wants to do now, but this laning stage is already a, a disaster as far as that goes. So how are the other lanes doing? Well, Clinks is uh, farming well okay. bottom lane. CS wise, yeah. Chug's doing okay. Chug's Winning by a little bit. I, yeah, winning by four last hits. He's a few more designs on the gyrocopter side. But Does have his bottle. That's been fine. Yeah. That's something. It's just the other three heroes that we worry about right now. The Naga getting getting some level of bottle. Yeah. 
dueling off lane, not really cutting it. And Arteezy, with the start he's had, should be able to just free farm top. Yeah, I don't feel like they can. They can't send you off alone. I can't expect to help much. No Surgeon. He's going to get jumped on now. Surgeon won, but he's frostbitten and then Arteezy takes that last hit. No support tax today. And But while that was happening, they found the kill on S4. They just try, try again, and they had the lane ward top. So they knew that Kuro and Puppy were busy on the gank, and BP. Not deterred by the easy double kill they gave up early, are gonna bounce right back, get something going mid. And good news about Jug mid, and the cool thing about it, is that you do get really fast levels on the hero, who scales, all of his spells scale really well. The Blade Fury, the healing ward's great at level one, but also scales pretty nicely, and even Blade Dance, something you wanna get some points in, so. It's a nice, it is a nice trade-off here running him mid, and with a quick Omni Slash and an Invis rune, might be able to go for a kill. Let's say it looks like he might turn around, picks up boots. Tusk is there with a the snowball. He has to wait for the blade three cooldown, but that's 10 seconds away. Oh, they brought in Febby, but he's been scouted. There's a dire ward here. Still Invis Rune. He won't, he'll see that QO doesn't, it's QO, I about to say, QO probably just gonna pop up, because if you don't go for the last of that siege creep, it's like, well, why is not Jug here? He had an Invis Rune, I'm guessing he's at Invis. Even, even if it's just the Jug, though, he could easily get a kill on S4 solo, but here comes the backup snowball coming in. S4 getting punished again. There's the Rocket Barrage because Kyo's Blade Fury and only Nuts tanks it. Causes him to drop very low. Puppy looking for the counter gank, and they may lose Nuts. Can he share a bottle charge with his buddy? Oh, he could have bottled Nuts up and kept him alive, but instead Kyo <laughs> says, I'm sacrificing you for the greater good, my friend. I want the kill. It didn't look like Sim was going to get two right clicks off there, but just barely managed to get that last one after leaving him on 5 HP. And do, do you like getting the kill there, or, or would you have liked I, to see him save the Tusk better? I think he made the, the right play. If I'm... If I'm, I actually thought that the Tusk was going to live, because that one right click from the CM coming out wasn't going to kill him, but somehow nice. the Puppy just got close enough for another, so I, I think it was the right play, because there was a chance that uh, the, the Tusk was going to live, too. Okay. Wow. And that Tusk, he says, he, he's not bitter, he TP's back mid, refills Kyo's bottle for him as he TP's in, so no hard feelings. They are farming KP as well, up to 32 CS, keeping up with Arteezy in that department. Down about 400 because of the hero kills. He does have Death Pact online. This is where you can get away with the greedier draft, rotate the clinks into the jungle, and look to give the rest of your team space. QO, phase boots coming out soon on the courier. The phase boots, they may be able to, he may be able to threaten S4 with a solo kill. Rushing for the top rune, he doesn't have a blade fury for five seconds. There's the call out Rocket Barrage as well. He's gonna be forced back. And S4 will secure what is only a bounty rune. Didn't now, have, doesn't have his bottle. Yeah, now he just bottle crows and S4 is really mana starved now, which is a bit of a problem for him. He. Needs mana to be able to fight Kyo here, just the one rocket barrage. And he can't punish this. Oh, there's a, there's also a rune at bottom, so he just goes and grabs his DD now. That's so important. You drop that call down, you really want the big rune. On well, top lane, watching March on the run. Mana Void there, not quite enough. Arteezy, blink at 7, salve, insta cancel. But they force out the TP, and that will Dyer's allow March to survive. MVP! Doing amazingly well. Can, let's let's remember how this lane stage started. They ran the Tusk. Oh, they're trying to make it on mid Yeah. They do have Omni Slash in soon, not quite yet. They're gonna make their go here on S4 right now. Click Siri now is coming out. He's trying to tank the tower, but it's a lot of damage now. Let's go with the Blade Fury. He doesn't have the phase okay. boots move speed. Oh, QO can't quite get the job done. Now Kuro looking for the exchange. He hits the stun and the LSA. Pepe's there to disengage. One more auto attack would do it. QO, he's gonna phase and deny to Ancients. Well, let's hope he's not too tanky to die before the secret supports come in, and he's not. It will fall, but I mean, gods, it started with the failed ice shards pull. They ran top, they gave up a double and a first blood. Tusk. And then the game has just been MVP swinging it right back their way. Well, Tusk died at the bottom lane there to a clockwork, it looks like. And this is where they, they, they want to get the clinks active on the map. This is a good way to play the clinks. Uh, he's hit level seven, has uh, three points in searing arrows, and pulls the skeleton walk, and gets a ton of damage whenever he. Whenever he uh, death packs a big creep, so he's just going to keep looking for these kills and take another TP back towards the mid lane. They may have another go on S4. They have a hill ward. I don't oh, know if they saw in KP a, though. He's in, in a bad spot too. Oh, what's the rune? Oh, just a regen. Now Kuro knows KP's in the neighborhood, but he's just going to go straight on to him. Dodges the stun. Don't know if he has enough damage. He needs one more on attack. The long range shards. Clip him. Gives the mid. Oh, no. Two? The uphill miss. Don't tell me. Oh, oh. Kuro living a charmed life. A second time Dyer's today where Kuro's just had the RNG gods on his side. 
<laughs> That's not fair. That's get, just not fair. You should get like double the evasion chance because he, he shot that second arrow up two cliffs. It was like the one <laughs> stairs and then the second stairs. So okay. if, maybe that, it was if, just that, like... if that were how it worked, then, then I would agree. But if that's no. how the mechanic works, then that's fair. But double miss, Kura man. Some sometimes it's, sometimes you just gotta be a bit lucky and he's been getting pretty lucky. The bash up the hill that just helps him retreat earlier and, and now that. Meanwhile, Arteezy is starting to take a bit more pressure, though. March dropping the wall and getting active in this top lane. Been forced to go for the extra regen here. Gets the early reign of regen. Likely to go into the Vlad's build. So it's a small adjustment you can do as an anti-mage, where generally you want to rush the Battle Fury, but the extra plus HP regen does make a difference here. Do Pesky Ion Shell. Now, uh-oh, Fabi at bottom lane. He's kind of been left down bottom by himself. As Klinks wants to roam, Jug wants to keep fighting, but... As a result, he's just being punished time and time again. March is diving, Arteezy. He's holding the blink right now. He's looking for the Monovoid kill. He's going to have to blink out soon. Arteezy very patient with this one. He's turning. Now he blinks, but KP cuts off the retreat. So there's no bullet on the side. Through the cogs and directly on top of the trap him on the other side. But he hooks away. Side. The secret escape plan was routed, but he will make it out. Looking for the QO dive mid in the meanwhile with the call down. They're still trying to unzai a little bit, but he should escape. Not so lucky mid as S4. Omni was thrown out. Blade Fury there as well. Can't run from the Juggernaut. Solo mid jug on a killing spree. And what looked like kind of a pub strat from MVP coming together as they pull ahead in terms of gold and experience almost back to even. Yeah, they're just, Dyer's everything seems to be kind of going their way attack. with their two roaming carries. Jug and Klinks both getting a lot done. Klinks now up to a Night couple of kills Dyer's and assists. Juggernaut's fall. been involved in Dyer's multiple kills on S4. Is S4 is just seeing mid 0 and 3, and this mid, this mid gyrocopter has not really amounted to much whatsoever this game. And he's, he's just going defensive now. He even gets the power turrets. No phase boots for S4 with the amount of pressure QO has put on him. It shows the power of Tusk, I think, more than anything, that he had the tough start, dies top, fails the mid pull, and then he's going to mid as a good way. And he's going in again on S4, cleave to pieces, but the blade dance just chops him in half and serves him up for dinner. And all the while, they're giving Febby some space bottom. This is what you love about the clinks as a carry, and I think one of the big reasons why EG liked to run at it. It just lets you leave a lane very early. Not only do you pressure, but you give Dyer's something to your supports. Yeah, attack. and you kind of get farm at the same time when you're taking jungle creeps as well as the death pack. Unfortunately, he's getting caught out by clockwork, and he's got stick he's got charges, no backup. but not gonna. Healing matter. Ward tries to come in, but Dyer's puppy snipes it. So nice play from Zai, just being in the right position and knowing that the clink was about to move into the jungle because his death pack wore off. So not only do you know where he's going to be, but he's going to be squishy because he doesn't have that bonus HP. Oh. Again with the Midas's secret. This is the game in the row we've seen a puppy Midas. And the important thing is, puppy spent a lot of time jungling, and jungle CM kind of hurts Klinks because you don't have any big. Like, Klinks went into the jungle, found the big camp of secret, and there were no big creeps. There was like seven little leftovers from puppy CM. All the little, like, baby centaurs and little baby trolls, or whatever they are, that don't actually give you much HP or damage. So that actually really worked against the Klinks that puppy had just left all these little useless creeps from the to death pack or he didn't even bother death packing them. Very back and forth game. Bit of a slug fest here for the team. Zion, the one who's making a lot of moves around the map is they are gonna rotate S4 back into the jungle. He'll start farming some stacks. Leaving the bottom Radiant's lane abandoned for now. That does give Febby additional free farm. Curious to see when he gets active and I think Febby's just gonna go into the radiant stack at this point. Really? It's it feels that way. It feels like they're gonna play QO more just like a constant gank here again, like a drums. Maybe a Shadow Blade or an Axe Scepter. Good Looking for QO. Go. Can he Blade Fury time? He gets Cog back. He will Blade Fury. Pops the Jump Charge, rotates out, and they Snowball in with the Ice Shards. They've got a Walrus Punch here. Out for cut on to Zai, but he's tanky, and they can't get in. The, ball, the Ice Shards actually working against QO now. Song to reset. Does yeah, Secret want to bring anyone in? Omni, Kuro down. They want Zai, though. This is the big kill. He hooks away again. <laughs> this guy is a trapeze artist with that friggin' hook. He will retreat March. Meanwhile, dropping the ball. He's fighting in three. Really nice one. Gonna kill off Puppy with it. Gets the experience first. Well worth it as they'll take the tower mid. MVP. They are just keeping up with Secret. I love the intensity of this team. Ex endless action. Never afraid to take a fight. And 
It seems that's how you get to yeah. Secret, who just want to play the slow, methodical Radiant's game versus most teams. Yeah. And it feels like Klinks is kind of over-rotating and over-ganking, but they're doing this because they, they feel like they can transition Naga into the main carry. Klinks is going to go into, like, a medallion, maybe even upgrade it to a solo press off the MC, but just like a medallion, Deso, tons of minus armor. This is not going to be a carry Klinks in any conventional sense. Similarly, the Juggernaut, drums build, more utility-based. I think... The, the, the role of the Jug and the Klinks at this point is just creating space for Naga. It's not the KP Naga, apparently it's going to be the Fabian Naga. Oh, the anti-mage in danger. If he doesn't blink out, he does. They still have the Snowball, not quite in range, and he's got a max blink now. We'll be able to retreat. Still a bit of... Dyer's has he got the battle for you? Still one item away. Still needs 1,200 gold, so... Yeah, he did He did stop back for that single reign of regen, which very slightly slows him down. It's only a couple creeps. Well, looks like KP does want the medallion. We've seen, we've seen the Denso rush from... Oh, that's, that's not where you want to be. Deep behind enemy lines, RTC says... Nah, just stop. Just stop coming here. Get some point down, but... Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's I'm, I'm tired of this crap. Yeah, a Radiant Observer Ward. Oh, Zai was looking for a hookshot here. He just ignored the Elves Ward as he, as he wanted to go in for the kill. That's confident. I know you see me. I'm just that good. I'm going to hit you anyway. Dire Observer plus Sentry. This is the ideal place to have that Ob Sentry duo as Klinks is constantly roaming towards your jungle, trying to take big creeps and then go for ganks. And, and they did see him. Yep. The pains are coming out. But Juggernaut here finds Kuro. They don't want to commit an Omnifrag for this, so they're just going to go in with the Blade Fury, but he's got a Ghost Scepter and actually causes him to take additional damage. Now the Omni hits on the two supports, kills on Puppy. It's an assassination in the mid lane. He will pay with his life, but he shreds him. And then Tusk comes in. Oh, hey, guys. Here's a fight. Uh, not one I want to be involved in. Can I get out of here? Nope. Uh, please. Mercy. And they lost the Klinks as well. That's a, a turnaround going Secret's way. Three for two trade in their advantage. They kill off the two roaming kind of cores of MVP. And this is just space for anti-mage in general. So overall, really good for them. They're still not pressuring the Naga, but Radiant's as an initially support Naga, this uh, fair being... Oh, he's actually not being pressured. Also, he has the yes, Psalm 5. He also has the illusions to tank battery. So Febby should be able to get out of here as long as he doesn't get cogged. Waits too long for the song. Then the cooldown comes and now he's now he's done for. I don't think you can song against uh, battery assault. I'm not... Well, it wasn't hitting him constantly though there. He had a, he had a couple of seconds where Radiant's he could have Yeah, but it, when it was before it was, on, it was on cooldown at that time though. I think it. I think he had like a second, but he felt like you get cogged anyway. Tower is under he had, and then he wouldn't have been able to TP. He had to try like get back to the creep way so the creeps take some of the battery assault. But yeah, it was, it was pretty quick. Top tower is under oh, attack. He will go down. That's going to delay any relic progression a lot. And I was up to like 1600, starting to get close to that yeah, 2k that mark. Now well, back he, down to 12. He picks up a cloak, so maybe maybe, maybe like not the, to carry Maybe longer. just like uh, this isn't working, guys. I'm going Glimmer Cave. Forget the radiance. The dream is dead. Again, RTZ does have his Battle Fury now. Feppy looking for the net. Oh, they don't have an Omni, but the auto attacks alone might be enough to kill him off. QO, oh, needs an extra crit. RTZ, 20 HP. They're going to song this. I don't know if it's going to matter. He's got a blink at the ready. Meanwhile, they kill the clockwork off mid. One auto attack, one auto attack. One gets choppy him. gets him off gets with your head. QO, QO. Got to use them drum charges though, like if they'd used the drum initially with the ensnare, they get that kill before he gets the blink out, but yeah, this, that's a big kill to get. Antimage had just picked up battery, was starting to gain some momentum then. Oh, also clock going down elsewhere on the map, so yeah, nice couple of kills for uh, MVP. Dyer's top this tower Juggernaut is, is 1,500 gold up on a safe lane AM with 30 CS Dyer's more. Top tower Solo mid fallen. against the gyro and just did work as KP jumps on mid. Oh, there, that's, that's not strafe. Well, it's not going to be a CM kill. Let's force her back a little bit. Secret looking attack. for the split push, but... Seems like Secret really need to just Radiant slow the game down. The, this frantic pace that MVP have been handing out is not working for them. Radiant's bottom tower to give up is under attack. Yeah, right. It's, it's harder to play against as a Klinks, and he hasn't even gone for the blade now, which is another really problematic item to deal with, but... They have an Omni Slash here. These heroes TPing in must be careful. 
for a bit more. One side, but the battery assault fogging him and slowing him nicely. Blade Fury's at the ready. The Jukes continue. QO decides he doesn't want to give up a potential kill streak. There's the TP out. No hook available, and he will make it away. Two for two, but considering that this gyro feels more utility than core, I think yep. they're happy to get Arteezy there. Absolutely, and like the, the Klinks was dead during that fight. They still come out pretty victorious in that clash, so... It's a kind of engagement that MVP just want more of. Jug escaping, he picks up an SMY now, so maybe they, for a while they were thinking, okay, let's, let's try and run this Naga as a core, and they've changed their mind. It's hard to really, really tell without knowing what's going on in the MVP war room, but it really did seem they were giving Febby complete ownership of that safe lane for a good 10 minutes, but he just kept getting ganked, so I think they looked at QO and said, ah, Juggernaut's actually completely dominating. Let's just not risk it. Get some, get whatever items you can now, because if we play too passively, Secret are just going to get this anti major line and we lose. So I think they initially were planning on running him as a core going for the Radiance, but they just don't want to play a passive style when they've got this Juggernaut who's, who's just steamrolling. Well, it's really been all Zai. He's been the man of the hour for Secret. 5-3-6 and six, with the Invisor now popped, looking for a freebie. Finding a lot of solo kills here with the hook. It's a level 2 hook. There is a tower up bottom. Duo presses in, and he has used the Blade Fury. No Omni even available. This might be an opening, but little does he know, KP's Dyer's also here, and the rest of MVP in the neighborhood. Attack. He's going to scout them now as they rotate through to the bottom lane. Tower will Dyer's drop, healing more deploy. I could look to snipe it. Radiant's he tabs on it. Secret, do they want to try and hold this one? They do if the gyrocopter ult if necessary, but Zai just going for the stalling tactics. Arteezy will bring down this tier one top as the exchange. Dyer's Both teams trading objectives here, but the healing wars about to fall fallen. off, and QO tanking the tower has to be Dyer's careful about this. He's very, fortified. very low. Omni Slash now at the ready. They don't have a mech. March has gone four staff first the clock. Attack. Secret uh, just looking for the night, I think. Yeah, they just tank too many tower shots. They found that a bit. Once the healing ward got sniped by Clock. Oh, they're going on okay. mid. There's okay. the song. What's the follow up going to be? They've got a snowball at the ready. Arteezy, Dyer's is he the target? Tower. Can they actually bring him down? Wall drop. No back. QO running. Can he get the Omni off here? Arteezy should be able to just blink out of it and survive regardless. We'll make it out. Kuro, not so lucky. He'll be dropped MVP, but fortified. that's a soft committed. Arteezy alive. Top. This, this is, for the most part, pretty good for Secret. They pressure mid, fourth rotation. They pressure off. They don't get the T2 tower, but oh, yeah. they want to go on this tower. Arteezy blinking in. Does slow him. Last hit. Will they get it? Yes, they do. S4 the one to claim it. Now the healing ward and jump charges pop going in. Arteezy with the TP on. Oh, he's going to stop him. Snowball, they found him. He's keeping in vision. And MVP find another. It was the sigil that scouted him. That was just nuts. Getting that flying vision over the, over, over on top and then found him with the snowball. That was really nice tusk play. And Arteezy has been just so solid all event. I mean, to me, the... One of the most consistent carry players of the tournament, but a couple of unfortunate deaths. Someone getting yeah. Yeah. The jungle just isn't safe for him. Every time he comes in, Zai is waiting and stabs him with that hook. It's tough. It's so much of Klinks' play is creating space, roaming around, trying to find those solo picks. You don't want a five man with your team, but a disciplined team like Secret, sentries scattered around their jungle, and they've, they've got a few times where they've had the observer next to a sentry, so they see him coming in with vision as well. And March yeah, is looking sad. for Puppy Bottom. He's trying to Radiant's play the economy game on his Crystal Maiden, but he's a bit lacking in the damage department. We'll let him go in the end. Radiant's middle tower mid. has fallen. Looks like S4 able to take down the tier 1 tower and he's two towers in a row, gets a SMY as well, 1k gold on top of that, but the physical damage is a big problem for him. There's not really any easy way for him to itemize to be able to deal with this physical damage until he gets really big, like put a butterfly with a Scotty. At this point, he's just going to keep on farming. Satanic needs to probably get thrown in the mix. He needs a lot of items to be able to stand up to an Omni Slash, a Klinks who's hitting him with a medallion, the Tusk Warrus Punch. Now, Puppy is really farming it up here, up to 6,400 net worth, and he's behind only the clicks on the side of MVP. Everybody very close in the middle of the pack. It, it looks like Secret's crushing and farm, but the only hero who's really down right now is the, the Tusk of Nuts, who's kind of forced into that more heavy support role. MVP to move Febby up. He's potentially for a go here on Arteezy. Throwing out the illusions. Looks like he'll go four staff as well next. Lots of tools for... Zai's clockwork. Speaking of which, gets the medallion, and Secret may have their eyes on a Roshan here soon. 
move into the Radiant Jungle now. Easy. Need to apply some additional pressure. See, it's, I have Scotty in the works for QO. The 6.83 Juggernaut build It's going to be the way he goes. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Okay. Radiant's bottom yeah, tower for now, is still under attack. Anything, and it looks like you know, Secret for the most part just looked to play a farming game. They're scattered on the map. We talked about how far Puppy is. Arteezy's off deep in the enemy jungle alone. We've had Gyrocopter just trying to solo quest pressure towers and getting the space to do so. So, lots of more Secret are actually out farming. The last uh, kind of three to five minutes it's been about a three thousand gold swing going secrets way mostly just from well, two two towers going their way as well are, as a are they going couple for of this? key kills they're going for this five man Rocket smoke player just about to hit oh flies over doesn't actually go to work uh oh fire team did not see yeah, this that's a free rush. and this is a very quick rush and they've got the medallion going to work not go uh, slowing down the push sigil may go over the ward which could reveal it no sigil stays on rush that's all right that's very fight. nice for mvp the rocket comes in will zai go for some heroics here Roach about to fall QO already grabbed it or he really even had a chance to talk it over with his team Zai, pretty cautious player in general not going to make that yep. risky dive but kuro may get caught here They've got a song, committing it just for him, waiting for backup to arrive. KP on the way. Can go for the ensnare. There is a Yule Scepter and a Ghost Scepter, so he can remove that ensnare if he needs to. As well as got the Omni Slash, they gotta commit a lot to get this kill. Back will stop the TP. Snowball to follow it up. Kuro will die, but space created at least for Arteezy. Pushy in the top lane, and S4 going on the bottom. No, not the biggest casualty for secret. Clink's getting closer to a defusal though, which will help Radiant's deal with bottom tower these uh, under multiple attack. ghost scepters on the secret side. Radiance courier. Only has one been for killed. now, but may may pick oh. up another here soon. Who's courier? Was I think that, that was oh, the Radiant. Radiant. Was that a? I think our Venom. Okay. Yeah, that, so it will be a Scotty for Jug. I think that was his orb. But yeah, it, it, it was his, his Scotty component. Just the orb of Venom. May just buy another rather than wait for the courier respawn. We'll, we'll see when he can pick it up. Yeah, he's, he's got the money. For, for Scotty, otherwise, Radiant's yeah, like you say, by the money, he's chasing out Debbie, but he's got a glimmer cape here as well as a four step, and he's just gonna glimmer. Heads to the north, team is coming. Tonic is about to be here with the snowball. They snare Arteezy. Do they really have to chase that right now? They're gonna need that Omni Sledge for the damage output. They can bring to the table. Kimo walking in on the puppy. He has to commit the Omni just for quick spin, but Zai also joins this at the exact moment. He takes off two more heads, and Arteezy says, you know, I think the jungle feels like a better place to go right now. Yeah. S4 gets a, a third tower Radiant's in the last five minutes, though. It's, it's kills in exchange for farm as well as just towers, map control objectives. So it's still, I feel overall, slightly secret favorite. Everything that's happened in the last five to ten minutes. Dyer's but MVP are the ones who have the momentum. So they can Dyer's just go from this and just start fight fighting with an Aegis. You can threaten the high ground. And they, I feel like there's a secret Oh, there's the oh, big ultimate. The snowball, snowball. snowball trying to jump on him. Can he finish him off? Nux does kill him. Now uppercuts as four looks to run. QO thinking about going if He has a sky. He can get a lot more done in this fight. But Nux will be left to the wolves and left to the copter who cleans him up. KP will run away. And now it's the time for the dire curry to end up dying in the midst of all this. It just falls directly in front of the fight. I think it delivers an Adasha for our team here. Not, not actually 100% yeah. sure, for that by the push, way, it does go down. For that push to work, they really have to keep the Dark Sea alive, and I think Secret knew that was the key playmaking here for MVP. They threw everything at him, the Laguna, made sure he gets brought down. He's the one who's carrying the full stuff, has the big vacuum wall combo. Uh, Juggernaut didn't have an Omni Slash attack. as well, so he, they just got to ignore him, kind him around, especially when he's got a second life in the Aegis, so... Good target selection from Secret, they kind of push back, lose a tier 2 tower, but get a slightly favor favorited fight towards their what, favor. Favor, <laughs> It's early in the morning, LD. I haven't yeah, had a well, coffee. Well, he'll TP out. I have Scotty probably about done now if he wants to buy it. I was wondering if he's thinking of something different because He's really got the gold for it now. Oh, they're using the song again. Don't tell me Zai hooks his way out of this one. He's done it many times. They really There's can't allow him to get away after using that song. There's the net. And... He's got no hook. <laughs> oh, he does have hook. Okay, so cool down. But four step party used as well. They're going to snowball their way forward and Zai is dead. Yep. <laughs> I'm just so used to seeing him escaping, I didn't even bother to check. <laughs> this guy. Yeah. Martizzi's still keeping lanes pressured really well, so it's difficult for MVP to do it. I feel Radiant's like they need a... So, it's under so attack. underwhelming the level of farm he has, though. I mean, at this point, safe lane AM, you look at every other game Arteezy's played this event, and 
He has completed Manta and the makings of the next I see him in snare into straight. Oh, TZ playing deep in the enemy woods. The play, fire arrow is now going to play. Searing arrows, not so quite enough. The perk was there. Marsh is going to run around. Only oh, that can wall the wrong location. The pains even came out, but it was a bit too late. RTZ just lucky to survive this I time. Level two in snare. He just leveled it up to, to level three after uh, he used it. I feel like having a back in snare is so important. That's four. All right. Well, okay. he baits out the ultimate. Like to go back to level four in snare against anti mage is crucial. Not to the other big problem was cling seven death tacked out, which is sometimes just comes down to the timing. But the uh, the snare level is something which he has complete control of. CRTZ, Naga Luz is coming in, KP is almost finished him up here, three shots, but the hook, Zion was ready for this, he's gonna counter initiate, and KP trapped with the cog, trying to fight his way up, he kills the wrong cog, it's gonna push him up on Nygrab, maybe it was the right one in the end, as Zion goes down to the low ground, where he's hit by KP, then he's forced down for safety, it's a miraculous Houdini of an escape, but still the Tusk will fall, and then oh, KP ties anyway, he charges into the Crystal Maiden, and goes flat in the end, with the Mana Void to follow this up, maybe they can get a bit more done, they really can the on these sides, but they're lacking it because QO dropped the top. S4 charging in. Also, RTZ looking for kills here. QO in danger. They're going to lose the darks here. It's three dead. Might be more. Glimmering QO. Song. And is there a TP? No. Nope. He's going to full stuff. Arcanes and Force. Maybe he can get out. Blake. Rocket. I think that he's got it. Oh, QO. Lucky to live there. Just getting outmaneuvered around. And then uh, the, the cling sneaking oh, out of <laughs> Whoa. No! MVP! Self-destruction! Two times Radiant's in a row, Thor is fall. bailed out by spectacular Radiant's support play. And two attack. times in a row, they run in and get killed off anyway on their own. It's been so much Zyde's. Zyde's been the one to punish the claims time. He's always just tipping the scales in Secret's favor with these early pickoffs. Just on the puppy. The opponent was waiting for them. They've already won one. The Blinks is down as soon as he respawns. Thus may be next trapped on the side of the Cogs. Two collapse. MVP not bringing their A game to these teams. They need it. The Hobby side to come through. It only gets one hero. Not after they even finish anybody off. And now he's fourth back. Now the chase on the end. Fourth duo on the run. They have nothing left. They keep on piling in and dying time and again. Secret in a matter of just three minutes have gone from losing this part of that word, or at least being close to even, Radiant to taking a free lane of Rex mid and looking for a whole lot more. And oh, there's another courier there. That was a uh, 10k plus gold swing in like 60 seconds. Like people are gone in 60 seconds. That, that was the MVP lead. And with that, their up bracket chances are gone, I believe, as well. Hold on, now they're through. If they can't find a way back into this game, they're gonna have the VO1s awaiting them. And it's it gets rough at this point. This is we talked about when the anti mage pick came out. It looked like a, a great anti mage game. It still remains the case where they haven't got the best lockdowns to deal with him. They've got a lot of physical damage, but once he gets Manta Styles with the the Battle Fury Vlad's up, and you throw like a butterfly on there as well, this clinch isn't harming. You're not looking at an MKB anytime soon for him. And that's a problem because Gyrocopter has also gone for a butterfly and you've got you've got two heroes with a bait, you need MKB, you also want to get for some lockdown and Klinks is sometimes a hero who goes for that hex, but with KP's current level of farm, he's currently less farm than both secret supports. That's the other thing to remember where he is struggling to fight into this item advantage that the CM and Lena have. They have Ghost Scepters, Glimmer Cane. Oh, they are oh, on it. Of course, no ball in their way into this one. The wall crush comes through. Healing Ward's in the middle of the fight. Our TZ makes for work on that. No Omni for 10 seconds. Will QO even get it off? They're going to song and reset. And TP out of here. Looks oh, like. No. Oh, they want to fight. They think better of it. Sticking around. March goes in the back. The wall deployed. Focus on that for the Omni slice. Only really hitting illusions. Now bounce the other TZ, but he just blinks away. Snowball on it. Keeping the fight going, uppercut, is it enough? A couple more auto attacks, they can't get it done, and he finds a haze through. Ay, 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 MVP, not catching the breaks they need, he flicks up again to the high ground, he sprints, away he goes, I, trapped within the cogs, may pay with his own life, Puppy looking to support him here from the sidelines, KP engaging, the snowball going on to Puppy, but he's glimmered, they can't finish Pop, kill that Zai, finally they'll get the job done, but everybody's still surviving and healthy here for Secret, as S4 rejoins the fight, KP, the last man standing once again, the courier died this time. <laughs>
Zaya, oh, Zaya Curry actually Zaya wants KP. He bought back just looking for the clicks. He gets the Centaur Sun. That's the gyrocopter center. I want to say Zaya unfortunately did not have a hook shot. Otherwise, that that was the that was another courier oh. death, by the way. <laughs> on the on <laughs> the, the, the middle of the side. Yeah. Oh, okay. Zaya Curry picks like a giant speed. Everybody's having a crack at it. Ready for well, last for offering to keep Phoenix. Double hyper stun anti mage. Archer has been fun. I think this is. Let's just, let's just rex them before we find a way to screw up a fight. Because everybody's finding ways to screw things up this game. Yeah. Uh, it, it, is a good, it is a good item just to take rex, though, that is for sure. Yeah, I mean, you yeah, get like a relic. Uh, yeah, I don't know. The high percent probably a bit more cost effective. But, I mean, if you really. AC is probably like, the better item, but you gotta build it. So. Here we go. Onto the tier 4. Yeah. Cheetah, yeah. Cheetah, yeah. Cheetah, yeah. Cheetah. That, that'd be an easy way. Right? And then surely would. Push with the double minus attack speed. This is the end of the game now. Secret build. And then they go on to the towers. Four staff offensively used to push our CZ slightly out of position. But the opponents come through from S4. And he's pulled out of the cross with their MVP. Multiple times hitting three, four heroes. They work on the throw now. And with this throne dying, should it fall, MVP's chances and hopes and dreams of the upper bracket will too. But they're going for one last time. One last fight before it's all over. Throne starting to drop back four focus on the chest of the Wall with a snowball. Great combination play, but Monoboy was ready for the Dark Easy. Finds the kill with two hyper stones and his hero. Back to the well. The GG's come out. MVP. They really had a great shot at this one, guys. But the execution, well, it got away from the rest of this game. Yeah, Secret and completely lost the early game as MVP just snowballing, but then come mid-game time, Secret just were getting a lot more out of the map. Even though it was MVP still finding the pick,